Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adalbert Khar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. Concern over the illegal toll levied by an unknown group against the transport of poultries to the state of Meghalaya. On Monday, the members of the Confederation of Reboy People, or CORP, Central Body, lodged the complaint against the erring groups to the authority of the Deputy Commissioner's Office, seeking immediate intervention and action. Led by the President, Bandar Rintathiang, and working President, Pateng Mersing, the CORP met and submitted the complaint letter to the additional Deputy Commissioner, M.B. Tongper. The meeting with the additional Deputy Commissioner was also accompanied by the poultry traders and suppliers of Reboy District who also thwart and raised the concern over the illegal entry toll for supplying of poultry to the state of Meghalaya. The Chief Engineer of the Public Health Engineering Department has announced a scheduled two-day shutdown for the Greater Shillong Water Supply Scheme. The shutdown is set to take place on Wednesday and Thursday, impacting water supply services in the region. The shutdown is due to interconnection of DI pipelines under shifting of PHE utilities for improvement and widening of the shillong Dauki Road NH40. During this period, Wednesday and Thursday, there will be no water supply to Shillong City and its adjoining areas and every attempt shall be made to the extent possible to supply water to the public at the earliest. For the first time, three women candidates of Mizoram scripted history on Monday by winning their respective seats in the 40-member State Assembly. Zoram People's Movement ZPM candidate Lalrin Pui won from Lungle East constituency and her party colleague and television presenter Baril Vanei Sangi elected from Aizawl South 3 seat while Pravo Chakma of the ruling Mizo National Front MNF won from West Tuipui seat. Lalrin Pui and Chakma defeated the male Congress candidates, while Baril Vanei Sangi beat the MNF opponent. A Japanese man who had spent rupees 14,000 US dollars or rupees 12 lakh to transform himself into a dog with a custom-made collie costume failed agility test despite trying his best. The man who had not revealed his real name has now shared a series of pictures on his Instagram taking on the curve style agility curse. This man is popularly known on YouTube as Toko. He regularly shares clips on his channel named I Want To Be An Animal. In the latest post, he can be seen dressed in collie costume trying to overcome a set of hurdles in a garden. Soon, his post received mixed reactions from Instagram users. Some users appreciated Toko for trying his best, while some slammed him. Sajid Mir, one of the main conspirators of the deadly 26-11 Mumbai terror attacks in 2011, has been poisoned inside a jail, according to unconfirmed reports. Mir was lodged in the central jail of Dera Kazi Khan in Pakistan. He was shifted from Lahore Central Jail a few months back. According to reports, he was airlifted by the Pakistan Army to CMH Institute of Medical Science, Bahawalpur. Sajid Mir is one of the senior members of the Pakistan-based Lashkar-e-Taiba or LET, and is wanted for his involvement in November 2008 terror attacks in Mumbai. Mir, who is believed to be in his 40s, is one of India's most wanted terrorists and has a bounty of 5 million US dollars placed on his head by the US for his role in the 26-11 Mumbai terror attacks. Mitchell Johnson has stepped up his war words against his former teammates by revealing the real reason which became a personal with David Warner and lashed out again at chairman of selector George Bailey for questioning his mental health. A couple of days ago in his column published in the West Australian, the former speedster has questioned why Warner has got to pick his retirement date despite going through a poor form with the bat and test. The former Australian speedster has also brought the bell tampering scandal and has made scathing attack on Bailey over his role in keeping Warner in the test side, among other decisions. Thank you for listening to Hub Podcast. For latest news and updates, follow us on www.hubnetwork.in. Download Hub News app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. For promotion and publicity, write to us at info at hubnetwork.in. Thank you. Kublai Shibon, Mithela. Hub